11A, consideration of beer and wine service commission at Ahara Depot, city manager. Mayor and council for um, forever, gosh, ever since the candidate city has been asked to uh, administer the uh, community center. <coughs> Excuse me. We've had a policy with respect to its rental. And uh, about seven or eight years ago, we uh, put out on the city manager list or a list of uh, or requests for in depth policies that govern uh, the, uh, the rental of community facilities. And uh, we received one and we modified that policy at that point. So ever since that time, we've been uh, working underneath a new policy. But one element that's always been a component with the rental of the community center has been um, a prohibition on the consumption of alcoholic beverages uh, at the community center. So when we had another recreational space built uh, at the depot, we simply uh, modified the agreement from the community center and applied that to the depot. And so that agreement has been attached to the depot since the depot has been up and functioning since its open house back in December. That agreement also includes a prohibition on consumption of alcoholic beverages. And it has been raised uh, at, at just about every time somebody uh, comes up to rent it. Um, will that be allowed? Well, that's a, that's a detractor. I don't know if I necessarily can, can uh, rent this. So, we, of course, uh, looked at the council to set policy direction with respect to these issues. So we wanted to bring the matter to you and state uh, that uh, that policy item is currently within our uh, agreement for the rental of the depot. And if you would wish to remain, have it remain there, uh, there, of course, is uh, no decision that's required. But if you would request or desire to have that policy changed to allow for the consumption of alcoholic beverages, i.e. beer and wine, on the uh, premises of the depot, then we can make that change within the policy. But uh, we wanted to ask that question of you and just see. I will point out uh, that uh, since um, the council's vote back in December, there are cameras up at the depot. So we do have the uh, facility monitored. Uh, we haven't gotten the installation of the alarm system yet, but we're close. The alarm system has been authorized and we're, we're close in getting that put in as well. So from a security standpoint, uh, I, I think we're set uh, as far as the depot is concerned. But uh, as far as this particular amenity or service, we wanted to uh, ask the council and see what your thoughts were. I don't see the depot as something that necessarily needs to be, and I don't think anybody else here thinks this either, but it's not that the depot is a revenue generator for the city, but it is something to be enjoyed by uh, local groups or people that want to come and, and lease the building. Um, and I was not aware that that was a prohibition. Maybe I should have been, but um, I was not aware that this was a particularly something that was particular prohibition to the use of this of this facility. Uh, but I would see that it being a, a big detractor, just like you said, using your words, the, the city manager's <coughs> words, for groups that we hope would want to come to Hayhira and use this facility for whatever events they're looking for. Um, it's not something that would make any difference to me personally, but um, you know, a lot of people that would be a big Thing that uh, people would want, whether it be a wedding reception or a business meeting or whatever, or what have you. <clears throat> I don't personally see that it's a problem to change that and uh, allow and lift that prohibition. So I don't know what the rest of the council's thoughts are, but I would be in support of lifting that particular provision. I disagree. I think it needs to be prohibited. I've been to functions at the city. Uh, and the other one over at the old Lions Club, and uh, people are going to drink if they're going to want to drink, whether you try to prohibit them or not. So once you give them the green flag, I mean, I'm not thinking about finger sandwiches and cut glass bowls, but once you put on a <clears throat> some kind of a senior night or something, I don't know. I mean, I'm just thinking it could get out of hand. 
police have got enough to work with as they have already. You go green light and drinking functions at our city, uh, our, our brand new depot, and I just feel like uh, you know, you're know you asking for trouble in that, that situation. I, I, like I said, people are going to drink if they're going to drink anyway. Um, but inviting it in is, I, don't, I, never, I never think that's a good idea. Well, I, I I understand what you're saying on that. I wasn't really thinking in terms of no, you want parties. parties. You want a party? Thing. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't thinking in terms of big parties being there, but you know, if there, if there are certain um, business functions that you know I've been a part of for many years that invite open bar or cash bar or whatever that it doesn't turn out to be a problem at all. I do understand your concern about that. I mean, I've seen it on the opposite end as well. Um, but I'm not sure if that's something that uh, is a big risk, really. A possibility, absolutely, and it's something to talk about, but I'm not sure that's a big risk. I would do this, that if, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm all for allowing um, beer and wine. The, the one thing I think you said, um, uh, Patrick, is that they're going to do it either way. Mm -hmm. I'd rather know. I'd rather say um, them put down in their application that they're going to provide beer and wine, which would alert us to the possibility that we could just be a little bit more diligent with our overseeing of that by our um, overseers, our, our local police, uh, to know that that is going on and that we would be a little bit maybe more prepared for it instead of, you know, uh, like you're saying, they bring it to their cars and they go out to their vehicles and, and are back and forth. Um, I kind of rather know. And then they, they, they be told that that is a strict policy, that if it's going to be there, we are going to need to know. Um, that would be the only caveat that I would put in it um, to allow. I think it's just going to open up more opportunities for people and things like weddings and, and, and rehearsal dinners and um, um, receptions um, from, you know, wedding receptions and those things. I just think it would open up more possibilities for people to utilize it uh, and want to utilize it if, uh, if you were to allow it. Does the, the policy uh, allow for uh, restrict the one that you said that was an add on. Does it restrict what type of alcohol or is it? it we can. Uh, well, uh, basically, basically what the policy says now is there shall be no alcohol at premises or no alcohol served. No, I'm saying the part that you were saying that could be added that you had seen. Oh, that, that's up to the council. Oh, yeah. What, whatever you'd like. Uh, I, I think what the request would be is that we would not uh, permit distilled beverages. Um, We're right. just talking about beer, just beer and wine, wine. Yeah, correct. correct. Um, and uh, besides, uh, that would be, uh, and we can put whatever provision that the council would like within the policy to basically <coughs> enable uh, um, us to know, you know from that standpoint of, of what, what's being served. What do other cities do? I mean, there are other... <coughs> But I'll stop seeing the around in the city, you can get their functions there that have alcohol, right? Yeah. And that's city owned? Yeah. Not the city. And the convention center. The convention center, right? Yeah, I've just, I've got some experience with, uh, now our shiny new depot, this certainly is not going to apply to that, I'm sure, that we're not going to have any problems out of there, but, you know, I just, very cynical in my job, I guess. I see a lot of bad stuff, so, um, you know, I, I would want it to be a very classy, any event that takes place over there, I'd want it to be classy, but the outcome of non-classy plus alcohol, I'm sure Chief Davis will tell you that we only have <coughs> so many police officers, so many diligent police officers in our, our small town, so I just wouldn't want it to turn into a situation where we regretted it. So, but if we limited, you know, no liquor, I don't know. I mean, whatever y'all feel is you're comfortable with. But if other cities are doing this and, and it doesn't seem to be 
turn it into Sodom and Gomorrah or anything, then, then I think we'll be okay. But I just am reluctant to green flag it. You know, so. We can also be in contact with Lavasta to find out what language they put within their agreement uh, at Parks and Rec. Uh, with respect to alcoholic beverages, so we can adopt the same similar uh, language in our policy as well. And just to throw out a little bit more, there uh, <coughs> there has been there's been a lot of uh, questions on that what are we going to allow at the depot and all. And uh, but one in particular was. Uh, we have a group right now that wants to rent. Uh, and uh, we, Miss Lisa kind of held their feet to the fire the other day and went and let, you know, said they couldn't rent if they would be serving alcohol and things like that. And I come in. Sense. Right. And uh, when they were I come in, I, I kind of held their feet to the fire too, and they were wanting to have uh, our alcoholic beverages, uh, not just beer and wine and things like that, but I told them we couldn't do that even if we allowed beer and wine that inside the city limits of Pay Harbor we didn't allow mixed cocktails. So, but what they're doing is they're waiting to see what we're going to do. Uh, and if not, then they'll probably want to go across the street to A&B and in that place. I don't know. Is there any liability concerns in terms of uh, people who drink on state property? Our liability policy would cover uh, most particular uses of recreational uh, facilities. Um, we would just make sure that uh, everything was in its proper place within the policy and that um, people had you know, signed the various uh, agreements uh, as far as renting it to be concerned. Well, we, uh... we have any more questions on the beer one? Uh, let's go ahead to 